We are waiting to hear what is next for the Dallas Mavericks as the team's ownership is up for a vote. We've got the NBA Board of Governors deciding whether or not Mark Cuban can sell his majority interest in the team. Caroline Vandergriff tonight is at the AAC. The game's going on as well, talking to fans about how they feel regarding potential changes. Well, if the fans here got to vote, this deal would already have the green light. We haven't met any who go against what famed business mogul Mark Cuban wants. They trust his vision for the team, especially because he'll reportedly keep running it, even if the sale goes through. Put it all on black, double your money, we're in. Love it. Let's go. Casino gambling isn't legal in Texas, yet. But Cuban's been open about his dream of a future resort casino here. Bring the casinos on. <laughs> we'll have to drive to Oklahoma. Rafael Martinez and his wife Debbie hope the team's buyers, billionaire Miriam Adelson and her son-in-law, can eventually make it happen. They're part of the ownership group that runs casinos on the Vegas Strip and around the world. I do. We drive to Oklahoma all the time. All so the time. We rather spend, uh, stay our, our money in Dallas. We make our money in Dallas, so we rather spend we it in Dallas. Keep it here. But what about Irving? The team's potential new owners are connected to an entity that bought more than 100 acres of land near the site of the former Texas Stadium. Nothing's been confirmed, but moving the Mavericks there is something fan Matt Kasky doesn't want to see. It's just going to take away a lot from the city, you know, uh, a lot of entertainment, um, a lot of good things that it does for the community. First, Cuban has to get through the NBA Board of Governors review of the deal. Uh, a sale is a sale. Why would not go through, you know? And then what could be an even tougher sell? Getting the Republican-controlled Texas legislature to legalize casino gambling in the state. Those familiar with the NBA voting process say it's a multi-step procedure that could take more than a day to complete, which is what we seem to be seeing here. We will, of course, continue to monitor the proceedings and bring you the results as soon as we get them. From American Airlines Center, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas.